I'd like to take a moment to address the public safety crisis of guns flowing across our border into Mexico and the local law enforcement operation known as Fast and Furious that has brought renewed public attention to this shared national security threat. Now, I want to be very clear. Any instance of so-called gun walking is simply unacceptable. Regret regrettably, this tactic was used as part of Fast and Furious, which was launched to combat gun trafficking and violence on our southwest border. This operation was flawed in its concept and flawed in its execution. And unfortunately, we will feel the effects for years to come as guns that were lost during this operation continue to show up at crime scenes both here and in Mexico. This should never have happened, and it must never happen again. To ensure that it will not, and after learning about the allegations raised by ATF agents involved with Fast and Furious, I took action. I asked the department's inspector general to investigate this matter, and I ordered that a directive be sent to the department's law enforcement agents and prosecutors stating that such tactics violate department policy and will not be tolerated. More recently, the new leadership at ATF has implemented reforms to prevent such tactics from being used in the future, including stricter oversight procedures for all significant investigations. Now today, I'd like to correct some of the inaccurate and frankly some of the irresponsible accusations surrounding Fast and Furious. Some of the overheated rhetoric might lead you to believe that this local Arizona-based operation was somehow the cause of the epidemic of gun violence in Mexico. In fact, Fast and Furious was a flawed response to and not the cause of the flow of illegal guns from the United States into Mexico. Now, like each of you, I want to know why and how the firearms that should have been under surveillance could wind up in the hands of the Mexican drug cartels. But beyond identifying where errors occurred and ensuring that they never occur, occur again, we must be careful not to lose sight of the critical problem that this flawed investigation has highlighted. We are losing the battle to stop the flow of illegal guns to Mexico. This means, I believe, that we have a responsibility to act. And we can start by listening to the agents, the very agents who serve on the front lines of this battle and who testified here in Congress. Not only did they bring the inappropriate and misguided tactics of Operation Fast and Furious to light, they also sounded the alarm to Congress that they need our help. ATF agents who testified before a House committee this summer explained that the agency's ability to stem the flow of guns from the United States into Mexico suffers from a lack of effective enforcement tools. One critical first step should be for congressional leaders to work with us to provide ATF with the resources and the statutory tools it needs to be effective. Another would be for Congress to fully fund our request for teams of agents to fight gun trafficking. Unfortunately, earlier this year, the House of Representatives actually voted to keep law enforcement in the dark when individuals purchased multiple semi-automatic rifles and shotguns in southwest border gun shops. Providing law enforcement with the tools to detect and to disrupt illegal gun trafficking is entirely consistent with the constitutional rights of law-abiding citizens, and it is critical to addressing the public safety crisis along the southwest border. Now, as someone who has seen the consequences of gun violence firsthand and who has promised far too many grieving families that I would do everything in my power not only to seek justice on behalf of their loved ones, but also to prevent other families from experiencing similar tragedies, I am determined to ensure that our shared concerns about Operation Fast and Furious lead to more than headline-grabbing Washington gotcha games and cynical political point scoring. We have serious problems to address, and we have sacred responsibilities to fulfill. We must not lose sight of what's really at stake here, lives, futures, families, and communities. When it comes to protecting our fellow citizens and stopping illegal, guns traffic, illegal gun trafficking across the southwest border, I hope that we can engage in a responsible dialogue and work toward common solutions, and I hope that we can begin that discussion today.